Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Parkitect. So it's been a while since we've done one of these videos, uh, but Beta 5 just dropped today and it's quite a good one. So third of all, as always, let's go through the change log. Um, it's not put on the screen just yet in the game, uh, but I've got it just here in front of me. So here it is and it's a big one today, guys. So. Um, they've completely overhauled the visuals. They've added night mode and lights uh, turn on during the rain. There's animated lights to flat rides. They've added graphic settings for ambient occlusion, screen space reflections. Um, they have they have also added higher quality tilt shift effect. Um, new decorative light objects, a monorail coaster, funnel cake stall. Uh, a new tool for taking screenshots of the entire park, small terraforming costs, more guest voices, rain protection visual visualizations, um, legends to visualization views, uh, and loads of other changes and all sorts of stuff. So it's all on the screen now. Um, there's been loads more performance improvements and, um, and loads of it, uh, improvements in regards to... Um, memory use as well so all the information is there on the screen and there's a lot of bug fixes too so the most exciting thing for this is the new uh, overhaul of visuals and the lighting as i love lighting in games so that's enough of talking about it let's jump into a sandbox and let's check out all the new stuff right so we are in a sandbox now the first thing i really want to try is let's have a look at the lights and also let's try and figure out how to get to night mode because actually I don't really understand how to do oh there we go right so ah so it's a simple click of that so already we've got lighting around the entrance area and lights that fade on underneath which is very nice uh, right let's put down some flat rides and see what the lighting is like on those uh, the one that they use in the example, I, th I believe, was the swinging ship. So let's pop this bad boy in, and let's give it a test. Oh wait, I need to put the entrance exit. So I've played this game before, don't worry. Ooh, look at that! Well, that's fancy. Right, so that's the swinging ship. Let's leave that going. Uh, let's see what else has been. Uh, has haunted house had any lights? But well, that's new. It's all that X. That movie, I'm sure. Uh, let's put this in. This must have some kind of lighting, surely. Okay, just the entrance area, but still nice. They've obviously added uh, and thought about the lighting. Very good. Um, I believe there is different settings as well for the lights. Um, we'll have a play in a minute, see what else we can do with that. Um, what else might have a nice looking lighting package? Power Surge, that's a very fairground style uh, ride. So that might have some awesome lighting effects. Uh, okay, that one hasn't got any yet. That's fine. I know this they're still adding them. Um, I don't actually have a list. So let's keep trying some more. See what else we've got. Or oh, maybe... Um, Twister. That one, surely they've done. There we go. So let's see how you fiddle around with the lighting then, if they've added that in yet. Uh, I don't know if they have, but we can have a look. Um, Synchronized station round, so it's not in there. Okay, maybe they haven't added it in yet. Uh, or maybe the, the preview of the show was just the uh, the sequence that they used. Uh, but I'm sure it might show its face at some point. Um, actually, already from this angle, though, you can see the tilt shift effect is on. Let's put the light back on. You can see the blurredness at the top of the screen. And at the bottom. So that's pretty awesome. Um... So let's actually have a look through the settings and see what else is new before we go any further uh, in terms of our graphics. So level of detail currently is set to mid, so let's put that up full. Um, screen space reflection. I don't know what this is, but let's put that on. Let's put rain effects on. Uh, let's put everything up full, really. Tilt shift will keep as it is, but yeah, let's put everything else up and see how that looks as we go back in the game. I don't really know what any of it's done, to be honest with you. Everything still looks pretty nice, I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I don't know what them settings do. 
uh, um, speed, space, speed, screen, space, reflect, I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on through. So, um, let's check more of the lights out because that's the main thing about this this, uh, this update that I'm quite excited for. So, lighting. Oh my god, there's, some, there's a lot of lighting. Okay, so let's put it into night and let's go mad with lights. Okay, so we have lantern and that is also scalable which is interesting so how big can we make that okay that's slight <laughs> but it's it's fine it gives that option um wall lamp sci-fi oh again that gives you a nice little uh little glow it's weird how the lights on the back as well but that's weird so that's that one wall lamp medieval uh that's it so I'm trying to get used to the controls again. It's very different to Fight Coaster, and I play a lot of that at the moment. So there's the torch, which has got a nice fire effect on it. That's a quite a decent little animation, actually, on that fire. Uh, an iron torch, so I'm guessing that's going to be quite similar in style. Uh, a wall lamp log, so is that one going to light up below? Oh, that's a good effect as well, though. You get a different... That's very clever. So depending on the height you give it, it gives a different spread of lighting. That is awesome. That is a very, very good a bit of attention to detail, that. Uh, wall lamp iron. I mean, is that the same for all of them, actually? Maybe not so much with the wall lamps, but that's um, very, very clever. Ah, so these have got like, oh my god, look at that. Again, this is very Planet Coaster. Uh, I assume these are colourable. Are they colourable? Let's try, let's go purple. Uh, does not save that, I'm sure I pressed, oh it is, there we go. That's... Yeah, that's awesome. They are very good. Uh, so paper lanterns, directional, amazing. They would look great over a little pathway. Look at that. That's awesome. Then we have on the sort of square ones, which is good. Um, individual paper lanterns. Again, I'm guessing these are all colourable. Oh, yes, they are. Uh, this must be placed on water. Oh, all right. We'll come back to that one in a second. Um, there's a vine lamp, which is just here, and a wall lamp fantasy, which is just there. And that's got that nice effect again of the heights. That's good. Right, that's that. Let's add a little bit. Oh, I'll probably put two down. Never mind. Let's put a little bit of a, a, a floor here. Uh, water, just there. Uh, and let's see what we can do with lighting. Uh, floating light. I mean, that makes sense now that it says floating. That was a bit confused before. And are these colourable as well? They're not colourable, but that's fine. Okay, so let's zoom into each one and have a little bit of a closer look. So, um, that is how they look in the dark. And those are the little floating ones, which are very nice actually. Make some lovely scenes with those. Uh, let's have a look in the daylight so we can see them in a little bit more detail. See, look at the little animation you've got on these. Like the log one there is actually swaying in the wind. That's very good. Uh, and so I think all the lanterns. Yeah, they are. All the lanterns are individually swaying. That is gorgeous attention to detail. It really is. And those are what the little lanterns, look, uh, lanterns on the water look like when they are. Um, not lit. Amazing. That, that is a great improvement. Um, I, what I'm going to do actually before we go any further, I'm just going to turn off this tilt shift because uh, I'm not a big fan of it as an effect 
As much as it's a very cool effect and great for screenshots, I don't really like it when you're building because it makes things look blurred. And I know that's the point, but I'm not a fan. Uh, so that is all the lighting, and that is a good selection considering this is a brand new feature. That is a very, very good selection. Right, what's next? Uh, okay, let's have a look at the monorail coaster, which I assume is a new coaster type rather than a new coaster train. Uh, monorail coaster, am I not seeing it? Or am I, am I not right with what I'm doing here? Uh, monorail and monorail coaster, I'm sure they were there before. Um, it just says added monorail coaster on the change log, so I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm missing it, guys. Maybe I am missing that one. So apologies if I am. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I'm not sure. We'll come back to that one at the end. I'll have another look for it. Um, but first of all, let's move on to the funnel cakes. Oh, and the lights going in the rain now. Lovely. Um, so yeah, funnel cakes. That is in here. Uh, do, 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 where are they? Where are they? Funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Again, am I missing it? Am I going past it? There it is. Funnel cakes. Okay. Uh, there we go. I don't. I don't actually know what a funnel cake is. Apologies for that, guys. I'm sure there's quite a lot of people watching from the states who know what they are, but um, I don't think we have them in the UK. Uh, at least not called that. Anyway. Uh, right. What else we got? So there's more voices. Can't really hear that. Um, rain protection visualization. Right, how do we get the visualizations up? I always forget this. Nope, that's that view. Nope, that's that view. Nope, that's paths. Nope, that's that. Wait, what is that one? Oh, so that gives the light output. Weird. Oh, no, it turns them off. That turns the oh, hey, uh, hood off. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Are they in here? No. In there, maybe? No. Visualize. Oh, here we go. Visualizers. Right. So, rain protection. Ah, I see. Right. So, any area that is green acts as protection from the rain. I know we trialed this in a previous video and I couldn't really get it working. So, let's try it with um, a roof piece. Uh, let's try it just with a flat roof just because I'm I'm convinced now this has been fixed so if I, yeah there we go so it works out itself so if you now put a roof over the pathway now that's not going to work it's too low there we go so it works it out in real time that's very clever very very clever uh, what's decoration okay so that shows you good or bad I say so that entrance bit is really bad Okay, that's fine. So they're pretty exciting. Happiness. I love that effect as well, the way it sort of ooh, comes out the screen. That's very cool. Uh, and that would be very useful for parks. Might leave that there just because, you know. Uh, right, what else we got? I think that's probably about it, actually, for what I can show. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, let me double check again with this coaster thing. Just... I don't want to end the video before I've really figured out what it means. So, let's have a look. Okay, so I was being completely blind before. Right here, between Mini and Powered, is a monorail coaster. A modern coaster design featuring a unique single rail steel track. Low capacity, but small, cheap, and capable of all the big elements. Uh, found only on the bigger steel coasters. So there we go. Sorry I missed that guys. I'm completely uh, completely lost there. So let's make a very quick one of these uh, as I normally do. The, the typical um, loop coaster. Actually, no, let's, let's go mental actually. Let's add a... Oh, it's got a launch. Right, let's do that then. Let's add a bit of a launch on it. And then let's add a very straight bit of track that's probably going to kill people. Let's stick in a cheeky loop. Um, and struck by lightning. Whoa, that's not very good. Uh, so let's move that over here. And let's go back towards this station. And yeah, have a look. So it's basically just what a single track 
monorail ride? Uh, coaster ride? Oh, well, that's a very... Look at that! That is a very strange design. These always had little panels in them. and design them in the op cabins. Not sure. Um, okay. I forget it always takes about four years bef before it will actually test. There we go. <laughs> That's oh, I like look at the animation on the brakes. God, they've they've put so much in this game, and I know I say it all the time, but for a small team, it's astonishing the amount of detail they're putting in. I think that's a new icon, actually. I don't remember seeing this before for the broken down rides. And there's a new uh, new effect here where it's uh, spurting out. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today, guys. Um, some excellent changes here. This is probably the best update we've had for a long while because um, this game is looking more and more beautiful every every single update so that's beta 5 as always guys this game is still available you can download it through steam and um, obviously as i've just mentioned we are still in beta and there is a, a, a while left before full release but this game is getting better and better every single month so I would I can't stress enough how much I would love this game to do well so all the support that this game can get please give it to the creators because they are making something beautiful here so that is it for today guys uh, apologies if there's anything else in this update that I missed the full change log is available on um, steam and the theme parkitect.tumblr.com um, which is where they always are and where they always post all their dev updates as well. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. There'll be another one of these updates next month when Beta 6 is released. Um, but for now, thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.